thank God that my account is all good. But there are some persons who are actually going to find this. They're going to find that their account is suspended in grey. And the reasons are different. And today in this video, I'm going to state different reasons that why this happens and how you can fix it and how much time it's going to take actually to get fixed. So the first thing first I'd like to talk about is the Discord community guidelines. Well, if you actually follow the Discord community guidelines, you're not going to get suspended or at least limited or very limited, you know? So the thing you have to do is just go and take a look at the Discord guidelines and maybe this is going to help you. I suggest to go read them and stuff, just follow them. So in general, do not use hate speech, do not threaten people, do not organize, promote violent extremism, do not talk to the people who are under the age of 13, of 18 I mean, like underage people, do not engage in sexual content with them and stuff, just respect Discord, do not spam, do not self bot do not do these things, and you're fine. As you can see, and as you can see guys, your account is suspended and you will find the reason here. Now what you can do and what you can do, you can do only contact Discord and what you can do to know if you're going to get your account back or no. There is only one case in which you can actually know from now if you're going to get it or no. If your account has been banned because you are under the age of 13, which is not true. So you're going to come here and then just choose here appeals and age update. Here you're going to choose update my age information and then you're going to send information here based on your date of birth and stuff and as you can see you would have to send them a picture of you holding your photo id with a paper i already explained it in this video so you can just go and watch it and then, and then your problem is solved then you'll have to wait and for other reasons you just choose here appeal an action to my account and then take on my account and then you explain to them what happened and then probably it is a mistake so for example if it's been for child safety then you're probably engaged in sexual content or in sexual messages with a minor and that's illegal in discord so your account is not going to get banned to, go, to be back but in general just contact discord and wait for what they will say some questions people ask me actually how much will they take to respond well this question i can't really answer it because they take a week two weeks up to one month two months what i can do actually is to go and talk to them in in Twitter, right? Just mention your ticket ID because after you send this, you will receive an email with the ticket ID. You can send the ticket ID on Twitter and they probably check it and answer you if they take too long, of course. And can I send more than one request? And can I send more than one request? Nope, do not send more than one request. You can only follow up the messages. So keep answering to the same request, keep answering to the same request until they answer you. Because as you can see, if I actually come here and click on sign in, and I will enter my account just a second as you can see after i logged in here you can just go to my activities and then you will see all of your requests that you've made and here you can keep answering as you can see most of my tickets are actually solved but once you find something that's not solved actually you can just enter from here and then you will send a follow-up here you can create a follow-up you click follow-up and then the ticket is going to be open again right Am I going to get my account back 100%? Nope. This is actually something that's a true thing. If your account has been banned for something that you've did, Discord are not going to forgive you. They used to forgive people before, but now there is nothing with this. They are strict. So if you did something against community guidelines or against Discord's terms of service, then your account is going to get banned. So what? So to avoid all these problems, I suggest to go reading guidelines. And if you go banned, just go and contact Discord. And this is it. See ya.